But there's one thing a Saiyan always keeps His Doing a movie review, you guys. You clicked on it, so you know what it is. To the Little Mermaid. It's very much a spoiler review because I don't know how to do this without spoiling shit. So, if you haven't seen The Little Mermaid by not, not the new one, but like the old one, the then old like, one. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, if you haven't seen the old one, I don't know what the fuck you did with your childhood, to be quite honest with you. But if you have, then, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to follow. But if you haven't seen the new one, again, like I said, it's very spoilery. So if you don't give a fuck, then welcome. If you do and you don't want to be spoiling anything, I really don't know why you even bothered to click on this shit. I, if you saw the thumbnail, it absolutely says spoiler review on the shit. So, you know, leave now if you don't want to be spoiled on the fucking movie. Otherwise, yeah, that's your fault. Opening thoughts on it. So this is what I'm going to say. If you're a fan of the Disney live action, I don't trust your I don't trust your instincts. I don't trust your instincts as a person. They usually suck. <laughs> All of them actually suck. I think the only ones that did good were the ones that didn't have source material to it, i.e. Maleficent, i.e. Cruella. They didn't have no real source material to it. That that they they could just make that shit up to make it fit into where they needed to. And that's what made them shits great. Everything else though, Aladdin, Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, Dumbo, God. All the jungle jungle was Jungle Book okay? No, not really. I Never mind. Was... I didn't like it. Didn't, like hmm? didn't they make two live action jungle books? They did, but one was actually Jungle Book for Disney. The other one was Mowgli. Oh yes. And it had Mowgli. nothing to do with Disney. Right, 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 right. <laughs> what was the other Mulan? Jesus. All of them suck is my point, okay? I understand the idea and the need to stir away from the source material, but if you're gonna do that, don't do anything that's involved with the source material. That's what I hate about that shit, but that's just me. If you're comparing the old one from the 90s to this one, as far as live action goes, they're pretty fucking close. They're actually really good. Like this one, this one was probably the better of the live actions that I've seen thus far and i'm actually quite okay with it like i told you last night there were a few things that i didn't like that i had gripes about i love this movie i actually really like this movie like would i buy it no because it's gonna be on streaming service there's no need for me to buy the shit it's, it's on disney plus why am i playing for disney plus if i'm just gonna own the shit right would i recommend it would i watch it again willingly absolutely i absolutely would same i really like this movie um i think they did a great job um i think that the mermaid designs for the sisters were amazing especially tamika yeah tamika was uh, tamika's color off. scheme was out of this world i think the conversation think said that she was supposed to be from uh, the caribbean that's great or maybe uh, africa i don't remember i gotta go back and check um was how comments on that one. i think that they did a really good job with like the visuals as far as like costumes go what the fish look like um it was very fun to look at very colorful very like bright and beautiful um even the darker scenes with ursula were still very done like lit up like very nicely yeah, yeah the makeup was good hair was good the mocks was flowing they did a really good job they really took their time with this one i think they picked a great ariel her voice was amazing in the movie um i could see why melissa mccartney said that she cried the first time she heard her sing it because she does sing it beautifully. I think overall the movie is really good and I would definitely go see it again. Controversial? I didn't like her locks. No? No. It's like I couldn't tell what they were supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's like three different hairstyles in one. Yes. Yeah, so like it was like it was some of them were locked, some of them were like perm, yeah. permed and straightened and the other ones were like single braided and I'm like what the fuck is going on here? Why is it? Why is this all going in here at the same time? And you like they try and hide some of it sometimes with like the flow of it with the water and all that. And I'm like, you can't fool me. I see this. And I don't know if it's by design. I don't know if it was on purpose. If it was supposed to be that way, cool, I guess so. I don't know why you would, you know, fake the funk with that one. I know that's not what her hair actually looks like. So I just didn't understand why that was the choice. Again, it wasn't that much of a big deal for me, but it did take me out of it every now and again, where I was like, ah, oh, right, the hair. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, I like the way they did Ursula's color scheme. I liked the way they did like the like Nightmare Before Christmas, like inverted like black light thing with her tentacles and shit like that or whatever. I love that there was a scene where she was trying to find the potion or whatever and all her tentacles kind of like had a mind of their own, yes, which is actually, actually, which is really actually cool. accurate. Yeah. Cause they, they do tend to have like a mind of their own. Like they have, I think there's supposed to be like a brain there or some shit like that. I can't remember. It was some National Geographic shit that I saw one time, some animal plant shit that I saw, but like they have like, even though it's their shit, like they kind of do 
do their own thing or whatever. I was like, I like that. That was a nice little touch. Like the music was good. They added three new songs to it. I know some of you in the comment section in our previous video for the uh, trailer review or whatever mentioned something about that. So now hearing of those three, three songs, um, I didn't have a problem with them. The only one I had a problem with was the scuttlebutt shit. And, and I didn't have a problem with it. Like it was cool, you know, biased because we don't really care for Aquafina that yeah. much, honestly. Yeah. It just feel like one of the songs was just like, okay, I get the reason for plugging that in there to like make the idea of letting her know like he's he proposed, but you could tell definitely like Lin Man Lin Manuel Miranda like was like no no I got this we gonna call it scuttlebutt like <laughs> that, that, I don't know it just I, I it had his hands written all over it I'm like of course that was him of course that he did that shit because even the rapping even the whole thing was rap obviously but like it sounded like his type of style of rapping. I think if I can remember correctly, I think Scuttle in the original did have a song, but they took it out. Did they? I think so. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think Scuttle, and I think it was about him delivering news or like information. Mm -hmm. if I'm, maybe it was like a different show or a different movie or something, but I think he did have a song that they took out. He definitely wasn't rapping though. Oh, of course not. It's, it's the 90s. I'm not, so. not rapping Disney. And I think like Aquafina <laughs> rapping is just cringe. Yeah, I kind of felt the same way, honestly. I was like, okay. But I, I mean, guess. who else were they going to give that to? Flounder. No, I don't want to hear Jonathan Taylor Thomas as voice rapping. I'd rather listen to Aquafina rap. <laughs> Personally, not Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Look, it was a very kid ass voice. Flounder was good too. Let me let me put that out there. Flounder, Flounder was, was good really too. Good. He was Flounder he was he. I know he's not the same fucking person because obviously hello 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 far back then versus now. Like I'm sure that kid's like grown as hell if he ain't dead. He he sounded like the original Flounder. Like it was actually really p cool and spot on. And I know they just called him. That's not important. That's not important. Doing the whole National Geographic thing on the on the like he's not really a flounder. Like obviously he's not a fucking flounder. He's like a tropical fish. I can't remember what they're actually called. But that's beside the point. Sebastian was cool. There's a couple of riffs where Davi Diggs kind of like did his own thing with the character, and I, I I can appreciate that. I can understand why people were complaining in regards to the Jamaican accent thing. It's noticeable, but like I mean. It's not as bad as like Will Smith doing the African accent for concussion, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I like mean, it's not that big of a deal. Like they could have gotten they really somebody, got with, somebody real with a real accent, accent to do they that. Chose, they chose Davy Diggs and that's okay. So here's yeah. okay. So objectively speaking, here's the thing about that: they could have done that, yes. But think about it: if they did get somebody with a real accent to make an accent, would they be? Able, would the crowd be able to understand them? I don't think so. <laughs> Most people hear Jamaicans talking and they're like, what? Because if you do that, now you got to put a translator on the bottom. I Wait. think the, the crowd was, and the original one had an actual Jamaican accent. No, no. He had a fake one. He wasn't really Caribbean. Davy Diggs did a good job at Sebastian. I'm not going to complain about it. I know people complained about like the way his look was, his aesthetic was or whatever, like his design or whatever. I'm like, I, I kind of, I, I appreciated it. Yeah. It's better than having the fucking animated one with the, like, the, the skin like, flesh one face. one claw was bigger than the other. Like it's supposed to be. Because one's supposed to be for cutting, one's supposed to be for crushing. This movie was pretty much word for word, bar for bar. Like, they don't miss too many beats with it. Like, for the most part, you can still follow along with what they say. Like, there's still... Like, if you know the original Little Mermaid, like, backwards and forwards like I do, then I think you'll love it just fine. Again, word for word, bar for bar. Like, there's not too many things that they that they don't say from the original. There was one thing... Again, we're getting to the gripes of it all here. There was one part where they took it out completely. And I know some of you might find this find this part to be controversial. I hope you don't. But if you do, fuck you. There's... <laughs> I said what I said. There is the part where they put... There's two parts in here where they make it completely PC. And I fucking hate that shit. I really do. Like, there, I, in some instances, I can understand it and it's disney so they have to do things the appropriate way whatever the fuck that means so they don't get backlash for whatever the hell but i don't know man are I feel like talking about the music maybe? we are we are but i just want to get this part out the way first real quick ursula's song poor unfortunate soul so we still get into the music thus one of the songs i don't care for out of the out of all the songs that are in there even the ones that got added in i didn't care for on, on uh poor unfortunate souls i did not care for kiss the girl them shits could have died i did not care for them shits at all i wanted to like it i tried to and like the more it kept going on the more i'm like i don't like this shit so you know it was a thing for me with that so poor unfortunate souls there was a whole part there's a whole verse in there where they took it out completely and again it's for pc purposes because they can't have you 
sexual uh, being okay with the idea of sexualizing women or dealing with the whole like keep women in their place type deal even though it's like a different time a different area and all that shit or whatever the fuck uh, you have your looks you. your pretty face yeah, and don't, don't underestimate the importance of body language they the men up there out. don't like a lot of blabber they think a girl who gossips is a bore i'm laying as much prefer for ladies not to say a word and i was looking at I was so looking forward to that part. Yeah, because it was a part of the song. Like, she was, like, really going off on that part. And they took that shit they out completely, out. specifically for that reason, I guarantee. Because there have there was no need to take it out otherwise. But if you're following the song, like I said, if you know what backwards before is, that shit is missed in there. And you noticed it. If yeah. you don't notice it, then it's whatever. You're wrapped up in the rest of the film and that's whatever for you. Cool, you enjoy that just fine. But I know... That's why they took that shit out. The other one, Ursula obviously gets impaled by the ship and shit like that. She dies. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I did not. <laughs> so instead of Eric taking the taking the helm and doing that shit, they switch places. So now it's Eric on the rocks getting shot at. That needs to be saved again. It's Ariel that crawls up there with her stupid ass fin. She can't walk and grabs it and turns it. And then she stabs her auntie. That's, that was the way that shit ended. And again, PC shit. They did it. Just because they're going with the whole message of I don't need the, the man to save me type deal or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, there's so many other things that we could have did with that. Like he already, she already saved his ass the first time. You could have let it be like a, like a, like I got you back type deal. Like, like I, you save me, I'm gonna save you in your time of need. It didn't have to be all that extra shit. But again, that's just me. Like, I didn't mind that part. Of I course you didn't mind that part. Really fuck care woman. for that. I don't care who <laughs> saves who. So long as they as get saved. As, yeah. Again, like I said, like I, it, it wasn't that big of a deal to me, but it was noticeable. I'm like, why they do that? Why you do that? Like I know why you did that, but like for like like really, that's that's where we're at now. We have to do that. Back to the music. Poor unfortunate souls. Aside from them taking that part out, I enjoyed it. I still enjoyed it. It wasn't again for these two songs. They weren't terrible songs. Like I still take these two songs and listen to them over listening to anything in the Lion King. <laughs> <laughs> or listen to most of the shit that was in Latin. That's just me, though. I didn't really care for those movies, and I didn't really like the way they did, 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 uh, did the music in either one of them. But that's, that's a side point. I digress and shit. The song wasn't terrible, but what makes it ick for me is the fact that they miss shit. Like, they miss lyrics. They either add or they took away things that didn't feel like it needed to be taken out. Mm -hmm. Like, for Kiss the Girl. There was, I mean, like, no background There's vocals. no vocals. It's literally it's just, just the three. It's Sebastian, Sebastian is Scuttle, and Flounder singing the song. The whole We're song, bro? The, there's no... The all these fish pop up and none of them have fish. a voice, bro? Like, get the fuck out of here. And stuff. And... It, I guess in the movie he's like, well, we're gonna use the sounds of nature, but like you guys are singing, so like where's the la 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 la? Like where is it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> there's it's, no background. Yeah, there's no back, backup singers. It's, or, it's literally the whole like, song actors. between those three, yeah. and that's the part that was super fucking disappointing to me because I'm like, damn, bro, like all the other fish start popping up and squirting people in the face and shit yeah, like that. They like was doing they all can that, do that, they can do that, no, but they like, can't vocalize together. Why? For what? You couldn't find yeah. people to do that part for you? I don't understand. It's right. a, you, you're Disney. You have money to spare. You couldn't get like a five person choir to harmonize the rest of the shit for you while they sing the main shit like i don't want to hear and again maybe this is and, and this is not even biased so because it's just, it just for me. it's not even biased because i don't like aquafina like that but i don't want to hear her sing certain in particular loud ass parts of kiss the girl i didn't need that shit i, I gotta deal without that hearing those three voices mesh together to sing this beautiful ass song about you two trying to fucking get your get your groove on and kiss and shit like that but hearing the aquafina singing voice in the background throws me off didn't like it didn't like it fucking hated it but visually that was fantastic though i like the way they did ariel uh uh letting her letting him know like like what her name was oh yeah that was cool that was cool it was written was, in stars mm -hmm. also ursula put a spell on ariel and she forgot that she was supposed to kiss the prince so i guess it made it more like natural for her more genuine for, more genuine for mm -hmm. them to like connect because their ariel didn't have a goal pc because now it makes her look less thirsty Oh yeah, and it makes them falling in love with more natural because mm -hmm. they fell in love in like what three days. It makes her fall in love with him immediately, but him to her in the two days that they met, because the third day was the day where they're like where the whole clusterfuck happened with Ursula and all that shit. Because he was under the spell the entire time. He's just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I want. Time to marry this bitch anyway, I guess. Yeah, that's what they did with that shit. Uh, King Triton wasn't terrible. I didn't find him super cringe, but I didn't like find him 100% likable either. I think the guy, the actor who did him was like, he, he it, it was fine. Mm -hmm. Just, he asked me between the two, I'm gonna take the original. <laughs> like I said, he wasn't terrible. I still liked him just fine. It's just, 
Eh. Uh, the sisters, I wish we had a little bit more with them, but like it was fine for what they had because we didn't really have much with the sisters to begin with. Like you don't find out more about the sisters and hear more about the sisters until you get to the other two movies that went straight to DVD. And I didn't mind the fact that they didn't have the same names as the original sisters. Me neither. I like the idea of like, you know, oh, the other sisters are like different, different mermaids from the other sections of the seven seas and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Cause he is the king of the whole fucking thing. So you're basically king of the world just underwater. So you got to be getting your groove on somewhere else. You birthed to all these other little girls, so I mean, might as well. So I didn't mind that. I thought that was cool having them come from different sections of, diff of different worlds. I didn't think I was gonna like that at first because I remember the people in the comment section were letting me know that. And I was like, but why? But then again, that's me being the original enthusiast Maybe that I am. Maybe that's why they were conceived. In those areas? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, to me it was like, well, either the Caribbean one or the African one. I think Ariel's supposed to be the, the Caribbean one because it was completely Caribbean centric where we were at, even though it's supposed to be like, Dutch, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know where we're at. This is a Dutch story, but I don't know where we're supposed to be at. But there was a lot of Caribbean activity that was going on in this movie, which me personally, I love. But those are things that I liked about it so far. Like I said, my only real gripes about it was kiss the girl, poor unfortunate souls, and them taking some sh some shit out or whatever. Oh, the song with Prince Eric. There's a song with Prince Eric where he got a song, and it was cool. It was actually a really good song. I didn't mind that at all. What I minded, and maybe that's just me. I didn't like his acting in the song. Like he was doing like weird shit. Like he was like overly acting in a weird way. I, like it's really difficult for me to personally explain. Like, like he was like really like overly dramatic with his like motions and movements and shit like that. And he like looks so big. So him like trying to like gracefully move from one spot to another looks like some big ass nigga who's just doing this shit. Like it looked, it looked weird. It looked really weird and it was really off putting. And I fucking hated that. If I like close my eyes and just listen to the song, perfect. 10 out of 10. I have no complaints. I have no gripes. Literally were on point with what he was going through and how he was feeling and all that shit. The music was right there with it. Mashed up heavenly. Mwah, fucking chef's kiss to whoever did that shit. I don't know if that was uh, Miranda or if that was Mankin or it was a compilation of the both, but that shit worked for me just fine. I just didn't like the way he was looking in the middle of that shit. I thought that shit was corny as fuck. The scene where she put on her feet. Okay, so she gets her, see, like, her, she gets her feet for the first time or her legs, whatever the fuck, for the first time. She can barely walk. They find her. They pick her up. They're like, oh my gosh, this child has been through so much. I don't know why I sounded Italian when I did that. She can't even walk, blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. You, Cause you found a kid. You found a child in your net in the middle of the ocean. No, no panties. Like her coochie just out. She can't walk. All she got on is a top and she covered in seaweed and shit like that. Clearly she's been through a lot. You take her, get her bathed up and stuff like that. Okay, cool. The first thing you do afterwards is try and put heels on her. Why? Why do you put heels on her? That was such a weird thing to do. So there was like this whole thing going on until they fixed it, which I'm glad that they did. Where it's just like, oh, these heels, I don't like that shit. Let me kick these shits off real quick. And she was walking around barefoot until she went to the town with the prince and found some like found some 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 sandals to wear and I was and she's put them shits on and she was moving just fine after that I'm like relatable content <laughs> I'm fine with this change this was a nice little change like it's like the little add-ons and things like that that they did in there that I really appreciated now then talk about the rest of the music even, even though I don't like the other ones that I said overall the music was still pretty fire you know what I'm saying listening to Holly Bailey is that it mm -hmm. Yay. <laughs> See, I'll be working on it. Fuck you guys, okay? But listening to her do Party of the World, the reprise, even the little song that they added for her when she was supposed to be singing in her head after she lost her voice and stuff like that, fucking prime product shit right there. Like, she heard, she hit certain notes, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I got teary-eyed on some of that shit. That shit was so fucking beautiful. She did her thing in this role, and I absolutely appreciate the shit out of that. That, was shit, that shit was amazing. But I, if when it does come out, on streaming and stuff like that, but trust, trust and believe I will be watching that shit again. If I had to rate this movie, yo, I'd have to probably give it like a solid like nine and a half out of 10, bro. I had less to complain about and less to pick on. I know it doesn't sound like it in here, but I had so much less to pick on in this movie than I have with any other live action. And I've tried with the other live actions for so long. Like they don't do live action right at all. They fucking suck at it. And I don't know why. Follow the source material, bro. And this is what this movie did to me. Follow the source material, damn near word for word, bar for bar, with a little tweak, a couple of changes and stuff like that here and there. And it still came out damn near perfect. Fucking amazing movie. It's definitely worth the watch. You guys should definitely go see that shit for sure. And if you can't afford to see it right now, then just wait for it to come out on streaming and have a good time with it. 
don't go in there with high expectations, but also don't go in there with super low ones either because you're not going to get what you got with all the other live actions. This one's on a different bar. This is on a different level. And I'm not just saying that because Ariel's black and I'm black. That's a stupid comparison. Don't do that shit to yourself because I ain't going to do it. Because if it was trash, I'd say the shit's trash. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite parts are, what you enjoyed about it, what you hated about it. And uh, if you haven't seen it and you just came here to listen to this anyway, thank you for coming here and listening to it anyway. And you should definitely go see that shit because it was it's definitely it's definitely worth the watch for sure. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for all the videos that get dropped. Um, what movies are you looking forward to next? And until next time for the ex next reviews for whatever I go watch next, I guess I'm trying to get back into doing movie, uh, movie reviews. I'll be here. Tell me like it is.